Jalen Waddell wasn't just the best receiver in the 2021 NFL Draft, he was the best receiver in all of college football and the Miami Dolphins were lucky to get him at sixth overall. Some outlets saw it this way, but for a lot of analysts and fans, myself included, Jamar Chase and Devonta Smith were the favorites of this previous draft cycle. There were a number of reasons why it turned out that way. Devonta Smith was fresh off a successful Heisman campaign and national championship victory in which he dominated. Jamar Chase had a similarly productive season in 2019 and really impressed at his pro day. All this went on while Jalen Waddell nursed a broken ankle unable to showcase his own unique skill set. Prior to the NFL draft, I had Jamar Chase as my WR1. He was the best wide receiver in 2019 and had shown some surprising physical upside at his pro day. He also didn't have the frame concerns of the slim reaper, Devonta Smith. After Miami selected Jalen Waddell I did a deeper dive on who Waddell was as a player and what he could bring to Miami. Suffice to say, I was impressed. Both the film and advanced analytics point to Waddell being a really special, arguably generational, prospect. Note. All stats in this piece that rank Waddle against Power 5 receivers or the nation are using a 30-target minimum. What makes Waddle so special? Sometimes when we analyze prospects, we focus too much on college production. If you consult raw statistics, it doesn't appear that Jalen Waddle is in the same league as Jamar Chase or Devonta Smith. But when you scout a prospect, what you're really looking for is what they can be. Typical stats, yards, receptions, touchdowns, show what a player has been, and are helpful for predicting future outcomes, but are only a piece of the puzzle. So, I was like, hey look guys, Jalen Waddell is what makes them go, alright? So we got to double Jalen, and let Devonta Smith beat us, okay? He's kind of a nice piece out there, but man, we got to take Jalen Waddell away. Missouri head coach Eli Drinkwitz on stopping Alabama's offense. Efficiency. It might not be totally clear, but when I refer to Waddle as efficient, it just means that he did more with each snap, on average, than his peers. There are several advanced stats that we can use to show just how efficient he was, but the best one is points earned per root, or PE per root. This is similar to EPA, expected points added, but accounts for things like offensive line play or the effectiveness of the quarterback. To get a good idea of how efficient Waddle was, Let's compare his 2020 campaign to Devonta Smith's 2020 Heisman winning season and Jamar Chase's legendary 2019 season. Points earned per route. Jalen Waddle 2020-171. Devonta Smith 2020-148. Jamar Chase 2019-127. Just seeing the number doesn't communicate just how dominant he was. Since Sis has been recording this stat, no one has hit Waddle's mark. Some notable players that came close, Elijah Moore 2020.153, Garrett Wilson 2020.125, Jerry Judy 2018.123, Jalen Waddle 2018.123. There's no denying that Waddle did it on fewer targets, but he made the absolute most of those targets. His completion percentage when targeted, 87.5%, led all Power 5 receivers and was far better than Smith's in 2020, 79.1%, or Chase's in 2019, 67.7%. By no means is that a perfect stat, as it doesn't account for extenuating circumstances in the play. But the fact that he was leading all Power 5 receivers means that he was creating easy throws for Mac Jones and not dropping the ball. Trading back and selecting Waddle was a risky move, but we should applaud Chris Greer for doing so. The theme of Miami's 2021 first round was chasing high-end play. Both Jalen Waddell and Jalen Phillips showed they were among the most talented players at their respective positions, but with a limited sample size there is consequently a bit more risk. Chris Greer identified that the current Miami Dolphins roster needed an infusion of talent. That isn't to say Jamar Chase or Devonta Smith aren't talented, but they just can't do the same things as Jalen Waddell very few human beings can. Expectations should be high for his rookie campaign, but we should also remain patient. It might not happen immediately, but Jalen Waddell has the potential to change how football is played in Miami.